Wh why is the door locked? For closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any evidence that it's been locked at all. Gotta turn the heat back on. Cool. Okay. We have to pull out one of my blankets if this keeps happening. <coughs> what? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? <laughs> Your little girl laughs. Are those children? Let's all go on a field trip together over summer vacation. Who? What? Why is my candle out? My head hurts so bad I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Ask my husband. There's an old journal on the desk. What is this? There's a lamp on- wait, there's a lamp on it, but it doesn't need to work. Flip and switch does nothing. Wash the blood with soap. Okay. So I need soap. What do, what do they need all these for? I need soap. A pair of scissors on the shells and the blade and the blood. Bunnies and medicine tongs are lined up on each of the shelves. Matches. Can I light this? No. What do I do with the... What do I do with the matches? Ooh, the door is latticed with countless strands of black hair rooted in its place. Can I burn it? Is someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Sanchi, you come to find me. What the? Eek. I need to get away. Huh? Stuck. Oh god. The black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question that this is a malevolent force, and if this continues, death is inevitable. Get off. Oh, I gotta, I gotta burn some hair, I think. Sorry, I'm trying, I really am. It's no use. Where did this hair come from? God help me. Try using that. Yes. The flames wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. Oh, the rubbing alcohol. I need the rubbing alcohol. Right? I'm gonna it's gonna take a little bit of practice here. Swish. I died. My first death. Black mist begins flowing into Naomi's body through her nose, her mouth, and ears, her eyes. In no time at all, she's completely engulfed. Difficult. With vision darkening, conscious fading, the last thing Naomi see ever sees. This wildly grinning vision of a woman she's never seen before. Look, if I just died, I'm restarting at a save point, because no. Zooming. <laughs> yes. I did not go back to 23 minutes, did it? Wait a minute. I saved. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a save point. What does it mean I didn't save? I 
Was I not saving this whole time? Okay. I need to read a newspaper in a locked classroom. Is that what I need to do? Okay. But which locked classroom? <laughs> Silly locked classroom there is. How do I get in? Okay. Well, I guess we'll go take a look at that then. <laughs> <coughs> Thank God for YouTube cuts, huh? So we want to go to the west side. Okay. Nope, I'm just on the wrong side. Let me go to the west side. I'll try to go to the west side. Gotta go through the class. Let me save. Wanna do all this running around? I may as well save. die. If you should die. Oh, okay. Let's, let's not think about that. Alright. Well, I found the key. <laughs> I talked to that thing It didn't the first time I saw it, but it didn't disappear, so it's one of those backtracking things, I guess. 
Yes, I thought I clicked. I, I read it, but I remember what it said. If you should die. Okay. Oof. Maybe what's wrong? I don't know. It's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's a locked door, you know what that means. Booty, behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? <coughs> yeah, uh, another dead body. The message has been par painstakingly scratched into the floor with his fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right in here. Okay, but I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can't we take a one little peek? Fine. Breaking news. Serial, ki ki serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good names of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details in the recent wave of disappearance are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. <clears throat> Most investigators have located the whereabouts of those children and their findings are far worse than anyone could ever anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that the male instructor from the school was found with them alive, but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. So each of the corpses appeared to have its tongue severed and removed. Mutilated far too grotesque to describe. The page is torn at this point in the bottom half of the earth is now where to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this, though, once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I wouldn't be too surprised. Let's let him. Oh no. Oh no. Hem save, yes. The door seems fixed to all the different only one open. Heavenly post. You will never leave this room. Oh, but I will. I will find a way. Let me out, 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 let me out. Sob, sob. Oh, that's not even a hint. Wait, what? Outside the window, so dimly lit, is almost in sort of balloons of the sheer wall full of the sheer Seem like that's happening. Oh, well, it... oh, there it is. There's no way out. 
Oh, what do we do? Wait, indeed. Well, what do you mean? Just never mind. Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. <sighs> Hold up. Oh no, no, it's gone. What is? The paper doll I, I scrapped I got a scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, the charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. Crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you you need to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. Okay, now we move on. We know what to do. Candle is still lit. Let me go, okay. Okay, right, she's gonna do her running again. Get yeah, rich. Oh, no, she's not. Okay. Ladder spatter. Okay. Naomi. Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? They go. Sorry for the mess. Barfing, are you talking about? Don't polish for barfing, you poor girl. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need me to rub your back? I think I'll be fine, thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Uh-uh. Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should reconsider that room off-limits from here on out, though. That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we better keep moving, then. Can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm, well... We've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only people, we, people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, Naomi, come on. I'm not that- it's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Class two niners never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I tend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, what say you and I go get our bikes, bikes fixed? Sounds like a plan, right? We make it back alive, sure. This is Seiko. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? Uh, hmm. You just keep smiling and laughing. D do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure, it we'll figure something out. That's Croc and you know it. 
must have finally cracked under pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirits up till the bitter end, but that's just like I was berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally and couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing through from my mouth as if something had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really had beha I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can, whatever you can, to make her proud. You just want to, so you do. What's wrong with me? Saito's, Psycho's mom disappeared several years ago. I knew that. So why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Naomi. Sorry, how about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who? Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to go home just as much as you do, back to my dad and you and everybody else. And I'm sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault, I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Seiko, I I'm- I'm so- I- I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. What did you vomit up, girl blood? I've heard her loud and clear, though. She was trying her hardest to keep me, my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was, was at that moment, Psycho was just a little too bright for me, so bright that it hurt. And so, in the nexus of closed spaces, we humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed. Two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in an unforgiving place. Or quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinance towards Psycho would come to be the biggest regret of my life as a consequence of that heated exchange. Or far more dire than I could have ever imagined. That jerk. I think I just heard somebody calling out. Call the voice? No. I'm gonna have to. That was the first time, huh? The first time I ever thought, fought with Naomi like that. The moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I'd been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over again. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if it... Okay. This is... Okay, now we're getting to where we need to be. Find a way out of here together. I just want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours before I was laughing playing in school with my best friend. Now here she is right in front of my eyes, lifeless hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as a reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. It just can't be. Continue in chapter two. Da 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 da!